So with regard to trailer manufacture, I mean, we, we, we live and breathe it, we're doing it every day. And um, sometimes maybe we shouldn't be surprised, but sometimes we are surprised in, in, in how little uh, people appreciate what goes in to trailer manufacture. And it doesn't just happen by accident, it doesn't necessarily happen overnight either. So there's an enormous amount of, of process and planning that goes into the, to producing a trailer, from when the steel arrives, uh, which is only comes uh, from a stockholders up the road, just five miles up the road, comes in, is then cut, bent, punched, crop, whatever processes need to be done to it, and that is delivered to the individual welder. And um, all our welders make the complete chassis. So they're not doing a little bit at the front and then someone does the back or, or whatever. No, they, they're properly fabricated. And we think this is really important to get a consistently high standard of product. And if I'm honest, the fabricators think it's important because they take great pride in what they do. And there's a little secret mark that they put on so we know who's made what trailer. And that's also for auditable purposes and to check on quality as well. So there's a huge amount goes into it. We've got a little um, gang of um, parts welders, um, production welders, so they do all the smaller parts, the winch posts, the, the, the swing beams, that sort of thing. And of course that all needs to be coordinated to go off to galvanizers. So when it comes back, then the fitting crew have got all the right components to complete the trailer. There's no point having your lovely shiny SPS chassis, but with no swing off to complete it. So a couple of reasons why we love welding our chassis are, I mean, the obvious one is longevity for us. I mean, fully welded, you've got no fixings that might loosen or fastenings. Secondly, you've got strength. It's going to be a lot stronger than a U-bolted chassis together because it's obviously one piece. You've got no rattle or roadment, so it's a lot more rigid. The next reason why is, if I'm honest, because we can. We've got a brilliant factory. We've got a brilliant people. We've got brilliant skill. Why not weld it and make the product as best as we possibly can make it?